Hello everyone, my name is Atia, and welcome to Atia Rich, The Rich Life. First, before I get started, I would like to thank everybody that's following me on Instagram yesterday. First of all, let me tell you guys something. I am still learning Instagram, TikTok. It's just all been a challenge for me, but I went yesterday uh, to, it's called the Burkery. No, Burkery. Anyway, it's in Lake Charles, Louisiana. It is a nice brunch spot. I had a great time and I did like a, a reel yesterday just to show my me day. And I think I did pretty good. It was 60 seconds. Of course, you know, you have to crumble everything up in 60 seconds. So, uh, a couple people, and when I say a couple, I mean a couple, not a lot. Oh, uh, they was like, Tia, please do a video. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that video because this is something I struggle with. I struggle with my eyes. Like I have hooded eyes. So for me, I only can do one color on my eyes and I'm good. Like all that cut in the crease and I'm still trying to get it down packed and I still struggle with that today. I, I really do. So I like to stick with like one color that's beautiful. I can go to work and I'm done. So the weekends I try to do cut creases and everything, but it's like I still can't cut. You know what I'm saying? So um, I did this one color. I love Pat McGrath. Um... I just have so many great things to say about her, but we don't have that much time in this video. So um, I did Burnished Honey, which is one of my favorite colors by her for work. And so I'm going to deliver that to you guys today. And I hope you enjoy it. But hey, this video is very detailed. This video is full coverage. So if, the, if you want a light look, this is not it. I'm always full coverage. So I hope you guys enjoy and down in the comment box, tell me how I did. I can take constructive criticism and then I'll come back and say this person uh, told me this or this person told me that. So really, I thank you guys for rocking with me from day one. But here it is. I delivered. Check it out. I do two things. I take my milk hydro and I apply it to my face. You can do as many pumps as you like. I do one because of the next step I do. And then next I take Tarte. It's called um, Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. And I love this only for my cheek area because sometimes I have these pores right here that don't want to close. So I take this right, just right here, and I blur them out. See, it's gone already. Let me show you my other side up close. So you see right here how I have like my little pores. So I just take a little bit, fingernail, I'll put it right here, and I blur those pores right on out so some put it by their eyebrows but this is just what I do to blur out what I want tip of your nose you can even go here just whatever you want to do so this is my favorite work look it is a one shadow and you're done. So this is by Pat McGrath. It's called Burnished Honey. And I love this shadow, as you can see. So it's like a pretty, like, I guess it's like a brown maroon. And so I'm just going to take the MAC 252 brush. We're going to pat that on there. So right here on the lid, we're just going to pat that. Oh, look at that color. It's so pretty. 
This is like an everyday color. So we're going to take the Morphe 453. They had a huge sale. I really am bummed about. They uh, closed all their stores in Houston. I think all their stores all around the world. But I took advantage of their sale. Uh, if I would have known they were going out of business, I would have probably just bought everything I could. But we're just going to take that brush, smooth everything out in the crease area. Again, go on that crease. Circle of motions. Make sure you get here because you know when you make your contour color with your nose, it's gonna all blend together. So one of my favorite foundations is just the Norris Light Reflect theme in the color Mercayo. Uh, what I do, I just take any kind of flat brush. This is the Ulta Concealer Flat Brush. And um, I do like this all over my face. It's like I paint it all over my face. And then I go back in with a beauty blender. And it's so much smoother, in my opinion, when I do it this way. So you paint and then buff out. And again, you can take whatever brush you want. I can show you guys the brushes that you can, oh, like a Kabuki. Let me show you my favorites, one second. Yeah, I do all that, yeah. Bring it down. Done. So some of my favorite brushes is the id brush number six. It's like um, a kabuki brush like this. You just pat it in. Or you can take this Ulta Angled Foundation 14 brush. It's a little stiff, but oh my God, it leaves such a pretty finish. And it's good for getting in those little edges right here. And uh, I got this on sale. They had a good sale at Ulta. And so I picked up this one and the flat brush together. I think I got them like half off. And then if you want, you take the good old beauty blender. And just pat everything in if you want. It's totally up to you. I gave you three choices that you can use and make it happen. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know my Holy Grail Concealer is Too Faced. Now my color by itself I can wear all day is Butterscotch. For the highlight inner corners, I can use Warm Sand or Cookie. So today we're going to get started with that. So uh, let's go in with Butterscotch. And again, my video, my video is full coverage. So I do this. I bring mine down. I don't do the tap tap like no. So I do like this. And then I go back in with the uh, cookie for my highlight. So that's how I do it. I let it sit. And then I'm going with cookie after I blend out. So we're going to blend this out.
So on this step, what I like to do is take like a, a flat brush, but you can go back to your foundation brush, whatever brush that's small, because right here in this area, sometimes it get messy with a beauty blender. I can't control it really goes all like haywire. So I'll just lightly tap it in with a brush because a lot of times when I see people's videos, I see that it, I can still see that line. So I just really like take my time to get those lines out so it's like seamless. I think they'll call demarcation lines or something like that, yeah. I just always hear Danessa Mark say that, so I'm gonna take that today. Right here, you can kind of like still see, so I just go lightly and tap those lines out. If you see any other lines, just take it out with the, the ball of the beauty blender and I just lightly tap it out. And you can do that with the nose as well, but don't forget, you know, we're going back in with that contour color. Baby! This is how you do it, right here. So some of you could just go in with the contour color if you don't want to be like beat, beat with the highlight. But I'm going to go in with Cookie very lightly. Just like right here. Just a little. Nothing really big or extravagant. A dot. Again, very light. And right here, I'm just going to go right here. And don't worry about it. We're going to take that little brush again. I'm just going to bring it all the way up. Over contour, there's so many out there that are wonderful and great. Uh, I'm enjoying the Huda uh, is a stick. It's called Coffee Bean. One of my favorites is the Black Opal um, Suede Mocha. They have the Mario out there, and this color is dark. And of course, the NARS. If I want, I want to say this is in Cacao. So today, um, I'm going to stick with what I did for my me day, and it is called the Huda Coffee Bean. And it's like this it's a little stick so I you go high not here because you're gonna drop your face when you do that so I go high like this and I bring it up like this again and I bring it up like that that's how I do mine and then right here I just go like this like this and sometimes I just swiggly line because honey we're gonna blend that out. It, I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter, but that's what I do. So if you wanna like snatch your jawline, I'll go like this, I'll go like this. I know some people make a three, and you know what for today, let's do that. Let's make a three. Like, like a three, or a B, no, it's a three. Let's stick to the three, Sonny. So you could go like that. And it's so creamy. So I like to go down a little bit. Like that. See already how you didn't snatch the jawline? So let's blend out the cookie. Again, with a light hand, blend out cookie. So right here, we're going in with uh, the Ulta foundation, angled foundation brush, number 14. And we're going to just bring that up here. If you want to, like right here, just tap that in. That's it. So let's work on the contour. So this is brush number six. I love this brush foundation, contour, whatever. This does so many things. So we're gonna take this brush and we are going to lightly tap the contour out. Lightly. Like when I get here, I just really take my time, tap it out. 
So I alternate back and forth from there to take the little demarcation lines out in the, con in the uh, highlight color. So everything is looking smooth. I'm going to take an angle brush. I put some of the uh, coffee bean on here and we're going to snatch our nose. So when I look at other people's videos, I uh, see I, when I put this line, it just looked like a line. So I looked at a professionals and what I see is that it goes like this, like down. It's like, yeah, you bring it down. So this has the darkness here and not just one straight line. So I bring it down. You could wait. Let's do a line first. <laughs> Let's do that. And then bring it down. And I know some people do that line right here. Totally up to you. Do what you want. But I want to make sure I come down and up right here. Because again, remember you have that color. We're going to go in and always make sure that the color we put in here blends with that burnished honey. Okay. And I'm going to show you. We're going to go back in with that same contour brush and lightly bump it out. Okay. So... Take the ball of that beauty blender, squeeze it, and we're going to lightly tap that out, okay? See how seamless? Tap it out. Take your time. And what I do is go back in with that brush, lightly, lightly. Lightly, lightly, lightly. And don't worry, if this right here is gone, we're gonna put it back, no biggie. So, let me take, maybe I shouldn't have put that line there. Maybe that, that's something I shouldn't have done. <laughs> Trial and error. So again, we're gonna tap that back in. See how easy that is? No problem. So again, go back in with your beauty blender. So what I'm gonna do is lightly, cause see, I don't like this, so I'm going to lightly do this right here. And that's how I want it to look. Uh, I have my powder ready. What I do, because again, this is full face to the gods, full face. I take my Makeup Forever, and this is Y405. It's called Matte Velvet Skin. Okay, so I'm making sure, once again, everything, all the lines are out. So you can do two things. Some people take a beauty blender, no problem. Let me tell you one of my favorites. Jeez, let me find it because it's like my top favorite. So oh, my favorite brush, Elf Small Taper Brush. I think you can only find this on Amazon. But I'm going to take my Matte Velvet Skin Love It Y405. And I'm going to set this concealer. But I'm going from out to front. I don't want to do this first. So once again, out. Right here. Because you know a lot of times you put, it's like you put too much right here. So... Just do the outer, outer part first and then bring it in. And that's what I do. Again, out, bring it in. Out, 
Bring it in. Really? Oh. And we're going to continue to just set in the areas that you want. But don't worry because, you know, we're going to go in with our honey in a few. See how seamless that is that you really don't see those demarcation lines? After I put the other color, trust me, it's going to be so pretty. This is totally up to you. You can use Honey by Laura Mercier. Uh, another one I've been enjoying is Kunafa by Huda. So what I like to do is take the same brush that I put the velvet skin and go in with Honey. Once again, start from the back, work your way forward. You can use your beauty blend if you like. It's totally up to you. Once again, I blend that out. Take out those lines, honey. So I'm going in in the nose. And this is something I do at the nose. I very lightly, I do that. Cause when I go in with my contour color, I just that's all I want. Cause I'm again, remember we brought the brown down. So yeah, that's just how I do it. So on this part, it is so many other colors you can use, right? There's so many good ones out there. You can use the Velvet Skin Y35, Y505, um, Max NC50, NC47, uh. You have the Charlotte Tilbury in the number four, number three. Whatever you want to do to set the outer perimeter of your face, please do so. Those are just some of my favorites that I use. And I also, you cannot go wrong with the Sephora Micro Smooth. OMG. Uh, I can use 58 and I'll use 60 for my nose. So let's go in with, let's start with uh, our nose first. Uh, this is the Micro Smooth in 60. So I am going to go in like this with the micro smooth and remember bring it back and swirl it in with burnished honey. Remember do that. So everything blends together perfectly. And remember bring it down. Break it down. Remember, take right here in the corner with burnished honey and bring it back. So everything is so pretty together. It's going to just blend so nicely. Today, I want to look gorgeous, gorgeous. And once again, you can use those other powders to set the perimeter of your face. I'm going to take the um, Real Techniques brush very lightly. This is the face brush Real Techniques. I love the flat brush because it's easy to push in. So this is the number four. It's called Airbrush Flawless Skin Complexion Perfect Perfecting Micro Powder by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. And again, very lightly. We're gonna do that. See how gorgeous and seamless and beautiful that is? Go Charlotte, it's your birthday. And under here. Next, I have really been enjoying Pat McGrath. Uh, I've been enjoying her sales as well. So, so hard sometimes to open. This is Electric Bloom, so pretty. I'm going to use this today as a blush. Very, very, you got to be careful with this. Very pigmented. This is how it looks. Again, I start back here and work my way in. So this is how that looks. 
And again, one of my everyday colors is like raisin for work. So again, when I come to the front, I just do it real light. And I'll just bring it up a little bit. Cause don't forget, you know, we're gonna add highlight here. So it's all good. And again, this is Pat McGrath's Electric Bloom. So next, we're gonna take Pat McGrath's Bronze Mirage as the highlight. And we're going to put that in right here. Pay big. Mm-hmm. Yes, honey. I'm gonna add a little highlight where my concealer is with the uh Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish powder. Uh, but this color is number three, and remember I put number four in the uh the outer perimeter. So right in here, we're just gonna add the powder. Oh child. Go ahead, honey. Choo. Very lightly. And we know we still have that powder here, so just very lightly tap that. Ooh, look how pretty. Love like a blue turquoise under my eye. So we're gonna add that little pop. I always like to start in the middle to add, to pack the color on right here. Always start in the middle and then work your way back. Don't you just love it when it gets in your eye? So I'm gonna take some of that highlight in Bronze Mirage and I'm just gonna bring it into the inner corner to bring a little pop. So as you guys know, my favorite lipstick by Pat McGrath is called Peep Show. I can swatch it here for you. This is how it looks. It, you know, I love snob lip gloss and they took that away and this kind of reminds me of that. So what I did for my media yesterday, I also wore Femi Bots. So that's Femi Bot and that's Peep Show. So I mixed the two and I think, uh, I um I put Femi Bot on first and then I put Peep Show on top. So one of my favorite lip pencils is called Deep Dive. I can never get my hands on Manhattan because it's always sold out. Another one I use a lot is called Brown Nouveau. Uh yeah. So I add that on. So let's add the Femi Box. I hope I'm saying that right. Femi, Fama, whatever. So this is how that looks. Very pretty. And then I'm gonna show you my top lip peep show. So this is Love Potion. I'm gonna add one of my favorite mascaras by Lancome Idol. So just add any finishing touches on your face that you messed up on. And this is a let's see what pencil is this? This is my this is 375 3.75, and this is Benefits pencil eyebrow pencil. Yeah. As you guys know, if you watch me on Instagram, I love, love, love Anastasia's Dewy Spray. But I've got introduced to Charlotte Tilbury and I loved it, but I did not like her spray pump. So what I did, I saved my Anastasia spray pump and I added it to this bottle and I've been in heaven ever since. So right now we're going to take our Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> spray in our Anastasia bottle and we're going to spray our face. And honestly, my face didn't need it. It was hydrated since, you know, I use all my Dermalogic products. But just in case you want that, we're going to add it anyway. Boom.